What's up guys, welcome to your 154th Android tutorial for the new Boston. And I just again wanted to apologize for, you know, being so boring and just being like the Jason Parser, you do this and that. It feels like, you know, my great 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 grandfather rose from the dead who happened to be a geologist and he's trying to talk to me about rocks or something. So I can feel you guys' pain. So just for you, you know, I had a few drinks and uh, now we're going to get into some XML parsing. I also built the application that we're going to develop so you can see it beforehand as well as kind of go a little bit slower so you guys have a better knowledge of what we're actually doing. Hopefully, I don't know if, you know, I have been going too fast or not or explaining enough. So I'm going to try and explain this thoroughly so you guys completely understand. So as you can see your application has a city and state. You can also just put the city and hit enter and it says in Lincoln, Nebraska the current temperature in Fahrenheit is 77. Um, you can also, you know, uh, just say, whoa, whoa, like Texas. Uh, let's go just Texas. The state of Texas is 86 degrees. More specifically, Houston is 82 degrees and what what this application is actually doing is we're using XML parsing from the Google Weather API so it's kinda like JSON but it's XML parsing it's a little bit um, different but uh, hopefully you guys will understand this a little bit more thoroughly as well so that's what our application looks like and just to get started you guys probably guess you need to build your layout so I just have a text view an edit text and you know a state another text view which says state and an edit text a button and then just another text view that has a reference attached to it these two don't have the reference we, we aren't going to change them or anything we don't need a reference for them so just get that set up and then we're going to go over here into our class which we call weather xml parsing extends activity and implements the on click listener again we have a string reference uh, well, we'll get to that in a second. I'll actually delete that. Um, we have a text view, which is going to change for weather and all that stuff. And we have a two edit text for the city and the state edit text. Have those all set up and set our content view to the weather XML, as well as set a button to an on-click listener, which we implement for the class. And here's our on-click listener. Nothing too new. Hopefully you guys can set that up. But I know you guys probably need some time, so just go ahead and do that right meow. Well, welcome back, guys. Uh, hopefully you miss me as much as I missed you, and we're going to jump right into it. Um, we also need to create two other classes uh, called Handling XML Stuff and XML Data Collected. So go ahead and set those classes up as well. Right now they aren't really, you know, doing anything. So uh, yeah, just get those set up, and uh, and we're gonna get started. Those are all the classes we're gonna need. You guys probably just want to keep those tabs out open. Uh, you can close your, you know, your XML layout tab after you're done developing that. But keep those open for the next few tutorials as we work through. And how this application is going to retrieve its data is from the Google Weather API. And here's the website for the XML file that we're pulling our data from. As you can see, there's a lot more information besides just the city and the, fair, the temperature in Fahrenheit. But I thought that would cover enough of you know the information that you guys would need to understand the concepts. Um, this is basically what I'm pulling is the city, uh, which says Lincoln, Nebraska. And... The condition of Fahrenheit, which is right here, uh, 77 degrees as of right now. We could also pull the condition, say, yeah, it's clear outside. Uh, there's a humidity of 90%, which is just crazy. And, you know, there's all this other stuff we can pull as well, like the projections for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, if we chose. But, you know, for, for our purposes, we aren't going to really refer or care about those. You guys can add it to your ap application for homework. But again, the most important thing is our URL, which is www.google.com forward slash IG 
forward slash API question mark weather equals and then the city comma state. So that's a basic introduction to what we're going to be doing and just kind of seeing everything before we actually develop because I think that might be a little bit more beneficial for you guys. And again, we're just going to work with the string bridge in the next tutorial. Even though we've used it before, I haven't really made a tutorial on it. So we might as well do that since we're breaking everything down and, uh, and everything. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good one.